Today, we're going to be talking about the Nilbin Launcher. Uh, this gun is freaking amazing on rack. Uh, this is one of the, the main weapons that I use a lot on rack, mainly because it does tons of damage and it's also excellent when PvP. So whenever you have an antagonist or you're playing as an antagonist, it's really, really nice because you can flank out enemies super easily. So whenever they're hiding behind cover, you can burn them out. Or even if you're trying to go into melee, you can basically, since the flame is always following you around, you can use that as extra damage on top of your melee. So it's really, really awesome. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at that when we get into gameplay. But I just want to show you really quick about the stats because you got a caliber for increased damage. And then you also have a hero killer for increased damage uh, versus players and elites. Um, this is really good. If you want to set for max damage, just go for those two stats. Um, it does have um, Exterminator for the regular enemies, but I don't really care about the regular enemies. They die really easily anyway. So there's really no point in doing that. And then and then there's also Treasure Hunter. But, I mean, that's up to you if you want to do that. I, I personally don't care for those things. Um, Bounty Hunter is really nice if you can put that in there. But you have to sacrifice a lot to put Bounty Hunter. You know, so that's, that's something that I, I tried not to do on all my weapons. I, I usually do that for, like, really select weapons. But let's get into some gameplay to show you exactly what this weapon is like. So I just made it into a mission. Uh, first thing with the weapon that you'll notice is that when you shoot it, it only has like one clip in the chamber, but it actually reloads pretty decently fast. The, the flames will always follow you, regardless of where you are. So basically the, the best way to use it, like in this situation right here, will be like with melee. So I can basically like use the flames. You see how he's taking damage now? So, so basically I can do this, run up in melee, and see it uses it for like basically extra damage right there on top of your melee. So you can be able to do some crazy ass damage real quick when you just want to go in to do some uh, quick melee stuff. So watch, I'll go in like this, you see look at that, <laughs> it, even, it, it destroyed the shit out of that guy. So he didn't even have the chance to even uh, uh, grab him or anything. So that's that sometimes can be the downside to it because it does like way too much damage I mean, it does ticks of like 56 like over and over every half a second so that's it's pretty crazy so look you see how you see he fell right into it so basically if i want to hold off cover like this i can basically do one of these numbers you see look at that oh you know you just burnt right away so i can uh, basically just flank people out of out of cover and stuff They're like this guy oh you just got destroyed they don't even have a chance. So pretty much like I'll put it down like this and then I can aim the flames to wherever they're hiding. So if let's say that they're hiding right behind this here. So I could just do this. Use the flames to direct it where it needs to go. <laughs> Take this guy out and that's it. Like especially in PvP, like it's really awesome. Because let's say if somebody's hiding behind that, you just shoot it like this behind them. And see, and then you can burn them out of the cover. So Since it always follows you everywhere you go. So it's, it's pretty pretty awesome I, I really like this a lot um, the only downside with this weapon though is that since it's a, like a sticky grenade that only sticks to like one spot um, when you're fighting against a boss it can be extremely difficult to be able to kill the boss mainly because like a lot of these bosses they're either flying around or they're moving really fast or you know you don't have a really a chance to ever like see them stop at all oh shit well, let me finish this guy real quick. Ah, I don't know how I got trapped there like that. But um, uh, yeah, usually when a mob is like a, like a boss is moving around too much, it's really hard to like make it work because you'll pretty much have to put it down and hope that they move slow enough for you to like track them basically with the flames. Uh, what I wish that the this weapon would do, I wish you, you had like an alternative fire to be able to like spin the flames around and facing the other direction. Be like, look at that guy. Ah, I was hoping to be able to grab him real quick. That didn't work out. Ah, now this guy died. Damn. I'm trying to, I'm trying to be able to like grab somebody real quick, but it does way too much damage. I think it's because I'm in solo mode, and maybe that's why it's just doing some crazy damage. Because normally it wouldn't be like killing them that fast. Like at least give you a chance to grab them. Be like right there. Go ahead and grab them. Boom, done. In PvP, that just works amazing. Look at that. I didn't even have a chance to punch him. That was crazy. But yeah, this this weapon's pretty awesome. It's definitely worth uh, having, especially if you're going to be fighting against an antagonist. It makes it awesome. Um, but yeah. 
anyway thanks for watching guys hope you guys enjoyed the video leave a thumbs up if you liked it thumbs down if you didn't and uh i'll see you on the next one later guys